Well, we made it through to another Friday. And after a careful examination and consultation with our crack medical staff, we can definitely say we're live. That's true. So welcome, friends, to another edition of Drinks with Davids. We're going to continue our rather haphazard adventures into the liqueur Drambuie with Drambuie Delights. Tonight, we are going to make an extremely simple drink called a Scarlet Kiss. You hussy. I know, I like the sound of this. And basically, it's a Cape Cod made with Drambuie instead of vodka. It's cranberry juice and Drambuie. How easy is that? So, you're gonna put some ice into your glass. That's a lot of ice, Dad. I know. I want it to be not well, the juice isn't chilled. Oh. Came from the pantry, not the fridge. Oh, that production staff. I right. know. I'll have to consider. They need a talking to. Oops. A little bit spilled, so I better put a little bit more in. There we go. You know, friends, here's what you need to do. If you've never had Drambuie, you need to have a little taste. And how would you describe it? You know, it has, it, there's a, is it viscosity? Is that the word? It has a thickness to it. And it tastes, the first note is kind of a, like a licorice, almost, but not a strong licorice. And then, I couldn't tell you what herbs they are, but it tastes like, you know, when you're having like basil or fresh parsley or not necessarily cilantro, but you know, kind of those herby herbs. All right, it's delicious. What was I doing? I have no idea. Okay, then you're gonna put three. Three. Oh, ounce. wait a minute. Then you're gonna put three shots of cranberry juice in. See, I had the perfect amount of ice in there. And then you're going to stir it. I'm gonna say, drinking that Drambuie, it's very warm all the way down. Warm to the cockles of your heart. Ah, if I had one, sure. All right, then you're gonna put an orange twist in. Actually, the recipe did not call for an orange twist, but we thought it would be just so much more pretty. There we go. <laughs> if you get it in the glass. If you get it in the glass, you just stick it in there. There you go. Maybe you shouldn't have the shot of Drambuie while you're making cocktails for other people. Okay, here we go. Here's the taste. For me, and I can only speak for myself, Drambuie is a revelation. All of these cocktails we've made have been good. This is amazing. That is delicious. Let's face it, a Cape Cod kind of tastes like watered down cranberry juice with a kick at the end because of the alcohol. This has flavor, depth of flavor. Please, go buy some Drambuie. I think you can buy smaller bottles in this. Because you're going to want to drink cranberry juice and, vodka and Drambuie your whole life. Before we leave, we will not be around next week. We will be traveling to a good friend's wedding in Kansas City, Missouri. But, who knows? We may do some cocktail explorations on the road. So, don't forget to tune in anyway. So, good night, friends. Be sure and have a scarlet kiss. And remember, we're still taking applications for guest host for drinks with David and who knows who else. That's kind of you to say still taking. Uh, <laughs> we'll begin taking if anyone happens to want to do it. I don't know. Good night. Night. <laughs>